My name is Allison Rossett and I have been a professor of educational technology at San Diego State University for many decades. I've done research, I've consulted, I've written books on learning and design and performance support. Today I want to talk about performance support. If you want to be influential, I think performance support is a great way to go about it. I think it's the best way. But first, what is it? What is performance support? Performance support is a way to move towards infusion of information, guidance, and support into the context that matters, into work. It's all about in. It's all about context. It's all about performance inside. Let's look at this humble word, in. Instructors are good, but they aren't in. They're out. They live outside, the work, the worker, and the workplace. They live in classrooms or online, for example, in webinars. And I know about this because I am one of them. I can be very good at what I do, but what I can't be is be where the work gets done, where the customer is, where a need is, where the equipment breaks down. Today, I am visiting Cryon Systems. I saw an example of their software, an example of the opposite of out. I saw in as I looked at a hotel software system supported by Cryon. Want to change the hotel description? You want to update the rate plan? Want to add a new photo of your beautiful front of your hotel? Leo, Cryon Software, guides you, or it does it for you. It is there within the software. It points, it nudges, it encourages. In the context of the task, in the context of the application, it helps you and it guides you. It's in. Performance support, no surprise, is about performance. But what does that mean? What does it mean, really? It shifts you away from learning, characterized as moments in rooms or online, so to support where and when it is needed. It shifts to indicators like sales and fewer errors and fewer calls to help desks. Yes, more reports of satisfaction with the programs. And it shifts you to an unrelenting focus on the people, the work, and their perceptions of their work. Their perceptions of their work. If you're going to move to performance-centric programs, performance centricity, to performance support, you're embracing career self-reliance, autonomy, agency. That means motivated employees. And what does that mean? It boils down to two things. The first is that your people can see the value of the software or the ideas. They can name, list, and describe why this is a good thing for them or their customer. And the second aspect of motivation is confidence. The employee believes she can do, he can do, high efficacy. So that's motivation high value perception and high confidence perception. The Cryon people tell me that one of their projects for a bank produced a boost in confidence in their users. That's a big deal. And I can believe it. I saw it in a demo. Um, I saw a program that would help me feel that. When I am in a program and I'm wondering, well, what do I do next? Where do I go? What's the right spot? How do I make it work for me? Swiftly. If it doesn't do that, I run away from the program. When my confidence lags, I'm out of there, and I'm not the only one. Give me targeted performance support, support that helps me with a high-value task and helps me stay confident as I attempt to do it. I will be motivated. I will believe in me, and more than that, I will believe in that software to help me do what needs to be done. I'm not saying that training for software isn't good. It's good just isn't sufficient. And I bet you know that, or you're starting to suspect it. Let's close by revisiting the definition of performance support. Performance support is a way to move towards infusion of information, guidance, and support into the work context, into the context that matters. Exactly. What a great way to extend our influence to where it matters, to the work, the worker, and the workplace, to being more influential where it matters. My name is Allison Rossett. You can find my work on performance support and other matters at allisonrossett.com. And thanks so much for listening.